so cool. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. Just because some ass pranked a girl's shampoo bottle and her hair fell out, we have to save So, summer camp. Okay, Max. Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, shut up. Cartier breath. Curious, but I shouldn't sink to Victoria's bully level. Yeah. Good morning, Lisa. Your leaves are lovely today. I may not have a green thumb, but. Your leaves are lovely today. I may not have a green thumb, but... Oh, there's a scientific answer. So. It sounds logical to me. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? Thanks, Victoria. I always wanted to be a Max meme when I grew up. She'll spread that shit everywhere. Jeez. Frickin' Max. Frickin' Victoria. And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Frickin' Victoria. She's nuts. This picture will capture this crazy historic moment in my life. No smiling. I could rewind for days and read all of these books. Will I really find any insight into power? That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Whoa. Hello. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. Before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. 
course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it, consider it done. Wow. I'm gonna say Fine, I won't disturb you. I won't disturb you. Fine, I won't disturb you. One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. If I help Alyssa, I can- Immature assholes. Sorry, Max. I'm not feeling social right now. I am now. <laughs> wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Alyssa? Okay, Max. That's twice you've saved me from a projectile weapon. Are you my guardian angel? Yep. Hardly. I just have a sixth sense for trouble. I'm glad to help you out. Blackwell has a surplus of assholes. Oh, by the way, Warren said you borrowed his epic film flash drive. I didn't know you were a sci-fi geek like us. What's your favorite? Let's see. Groundhog Day. I love the idea of going back in time to fix mistakes in Groundhog Day. <laughs> I barely want to go forward in time, much less go backward. I hear you, but it's all about the choices you make now. You and Warren do know your sci-fi. Be careful, you might make Brooke jealous. I'll just pretend I have no idea what you mean. Why, hello? Hard. Oh, by the way. Looper was very cool. Seriously, plays with your mind. I'm still trying to figure it out. You and Warren do know your sci-fi. Be careful, you might make Brooke jealous. I'll just pretend I have no idea what you mean. Why, hello again. Okay. By the way. I love Back to the Future, of course, but who doesn't? Can you imagine going back in time to Blackwell in the 1980s? We'd suffocate from all the hairspray. You and Warren do know your sci-fi. Be careful, you might make Brooke jealous. I'll just... Choice, Groundhog Day. Blackwell? Oh, by the way... I... There's Brooke, looking smarter than everybody. Whatever they're watching must be hot stuff. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What about Zachary? Did you let him off the hook? When he acts like a worm, I let him dangle. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. 
or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Hello. Hey, Matt. Die. Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Wow. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Excuse me, I'm texting Zach. Juliet has no clue. Whatever they're watching must be hot stuff. Hello, So not cool. I didn't get wasted. Kate's not- Really? Do you Are you sure? I thought you'd be pissed. Not at you. Part of me was almost disappointed because I built up so much rage. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? No, not at all. He's my friend, not my mother. True. And Warren really loves to talk meteorology with me, since I'm one of the few who can talk back. Talk to you later, Max. Would get off her crack, as Chloe would say. Otter power? I'm so not there. I'm good to flow. Thanks. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? Have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later.
That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. Had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck! I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. No, 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 not on my watch. <laughs> God. One mean skank. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. The marks of Satan. <gasps> Holy crap. Ugh, no fucking way. Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? After I find Kate's book. Victoria. That's what I get for making fun of her. Bitch. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. I'm throwing it away. Bye bye, disgusting art. I'm not keeping that. No. Darko. How could anybody want to break cute little Jake Jones? Ta-da!
put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. Before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Oh shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here or I could be in serious danger. If I'm not already. Warren's not out there yet. Bye bye. I sure would like to catch this hall tagger. Juliet has no clue how much this is. I'm glad we talked. Me too. I know it's good to just about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew. Way the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. Bring our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass... ...or not. Nope. No, sorry. You came to Blackwell to discover yourself, not hide in your dorm. I won't discover... I'm glad we talked. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything. Best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go. Max, after this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. I have to go contemplate my party future. Let's talk later. All this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Rollerblades! Oh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my feet just putting them on. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Don't say that out loud, dork. That would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. Like I could pull this look off. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. This is both sad and pathetic.
Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Welcome to Black Hill. <laughs> Samuel truly is a weirdo, but he is great at cleaning up. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. When justice is done, it brings joy to the writers, but terror to the evil doers. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Ouch. She left out amnation. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. And I, and I saved Alyssa from being attacked twice. Kate really has a doting father. Kate really has a doting father. And the light shine in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Kate, you'll always be my brightest light against the dark. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. She has a she has a little sister. It's way too It isn't that gloomy until lately. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Um, hey Kate, I brought your book. 
Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. That's awful. So, how did that happen? It's a long story. I'm still trying to sort it all out. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Poor Kate. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Jesus, this is intense. 
if Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth? Good lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. Jesus Christ. Look at her joints. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police, and also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal, after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Well, I'm fine with it. It's the right thing. Come off. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? I gotta be there in ten minutes. Now I'm outside. Perfect weapon. Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident. And but does he need a poster? How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? But I can't. Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrels. Time for your 15 minutes of fame. Let's wait for the squirrel to come over.
There we go. All right, fella. Wowzer, it's hard to get this close to a squirrel. Say cheese. Yes, another Pulitzer for the portfolio. Warren told me that totem is named to Ah, there's Samuel. I do love the early morning. Everything is quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. So did you know her? Like I told the police. She was a good egg. And she gave me those photos. Oh, you talked to the police? Rachel wanted to be a model. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Take care, Max. Shit, the window was still broken after I warned Alyssa about the rogue football. One little thing changed the course of that window's life. at the moment so talk why do you hang out with I guess I've had mean bossy best friends too mean, bossy parents I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick but whatever we've had our talk Taylor. Conversation over.
I don't. You're funny. Never mind, Taylor. That was a great talk, Max. Back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted... Hi again, Taylor. Hey. That wasn't such... See you later. Well, that conversation didn't suck. This is Nathan. Wow. The Prescott Dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family- Warren is out and about already too. Used to know. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Fine. Be a damn dirty human. I'll go eat myself. What are you doing here? Why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun.
Yep, I'm ready to cash my lottery ticket. Glad somebody is. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery Talk ticket. Talk about going back in time. Got my lottery ticket right here, waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming, too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to... But I've got to take the bus out of Arcadia Bay to Newport. Thanks, I sure need it. From the other day. Stop that! Stop! Frank. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. It's Frank and his dog. Look at all these flyers. <laughs> Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. It might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of our was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the press got. 
The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town. Tells you much. They own. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bob High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a... I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that, or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? Wouldn't be here. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell, and this town. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. Have you met Joyce's daughter? Cute girl. Pissed off. I used to see her and her pretty friend, uh... Rachel around a lot. Do you know anything about Rachel Amber? That missing girl? I know she's missing. And I know she hung out here a bit. Sometimes I'd see her walking all by herself, deep in thought. Too damn young and pretty to look so worried. Did you talk to her? Once or twice she'd talk to me about trouble in school, wanting to be some model in California. She was always distant, but nice. I pray the poor thing is all right, but you can't save everybody. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes to the town? Once it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell, almost. I have to go now. Goodbye. Press go to really great and they drive people out of their homes and get them to lose their job. Come talk to me any old time you want, young lady. I bet she's seen Arcadia Bay go through a lot of changes and secrets.
smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware makes me feel 13 again. Good lord, talk about apocalyptic. Coming up at noon, K-Bay 7 News will explore the mystery of yesterday's unusual snowfall on a warm and sunny late afternoon that confused and delighted Arcadia Bay residents. We'll be talking with Portland meteorologists in the area and look at some of your fun video reactions to the odd snow flurry. Who knows? Maybe Mother Nature was pranking us all. So stay tuned to K-Bay 7 News for the real story. That graffiti has been here forever. Huh. Gross. Gross. Reference. Trevor Holla Max, by the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. <laughs> Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. <laughs> you crack me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked, so I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. <laughs> so where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Justin is such a mellow dude. Fishing Wall of Fame.
about her, along with all the students at Black Whale. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you... The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. Now finish your coffee. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle. and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway. Friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. Glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drug. Now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean... Why? What did Chloe tell you? Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but... I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So... Bring it on. Now finish your coffee. You are the prices. Deja vu. I keep going back in time. In 
coming. You'll love this. Thanks, Joyce. I'm drooling. Your woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat. To you, for coming. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slap. That is so harsh. Another reason to blow this town? What is the Ooh, she likes it. Let's and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on. Oh, like this is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. I can tell you every single thing you have in your pocket. You have extra. Okay, Max. Impress me. That was beyond a every item carefully and don't forget anything. Right. So Chloe's keychain is a uh, Chloe's keys is a uh, a panda keychain. She's got a box, a pack of cigarettes, which is six, seven of them inside. Quarter, quarter, and quarter. Twenty-five. Eighty. Eighty-six cents. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. And the parking ticket. She got busted at ten forty-four a.m. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind.
What else? I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know. But how many cigarettes? Seven. Superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? What is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. Boop! Time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. What is the hell that? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. Rich enough, but you got... 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. Over my neck. Powers. Yep. She's I'll got take powers. that crap off the table, Chloe. <laughs> sure, Mom. Max. Better than I remembered. Very good save. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You you have I will predict the future. No way. All right, that's better. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh, and now I gotta take this call. Started it. I'm finishing it. That's the best song I've this heard is yet. sure the hell better than that <laughs> other garbage. I think the cockroach is trying to pick a song. Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now, pay attention. So, what happens next? The alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Did you break another cup? Oh. Now I'm gonna take this call and leave my breakfast.
this a race? Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you, and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super Long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Oh, wow. she's drunk. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <sighs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Hi, Chloe. I have to find dirty-ass bottles while you chill? Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby. And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God? Or the gods? So, bow. We can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? No way. No way. I still don't even know how my power works. Or for how long. Dude, you fuck shit up, you rewind, you fix it. Drop the mic, boom. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do.
to figure out the message. Oh yes, we can use this one for a target. playing with makeup. We really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Now, what's up with this weird secret relationship? Sounds like Rachel was confused about it, maybe even ashamed. I wish she named names. I, I better not show this to Chloe or she will be seriously hurt. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Ray. Ouch. Oh, there you are, little bottle. Trying to play hide and seek. One more bottle to go. I want to die. Jeez. Who wrote this? So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location. Range while you look for some bottles. You're sitting there. Tr huh. 
Hmm. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't... Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. around here. Although this junkyard is a dock, I see why Chloe hangs here. Chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again.
Feels good, but I didn't hit any of the bottles. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Get her. Chloe can even chill out playing with a gun. <laughs> Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make... Bonnie and Clyde. Excuse us, Frank.
still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power! You're gross. Don't fall. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but... Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Is this your bad boy phase? No, it's my trying to scrounge some quick cash so Rachel and I could get the hell out of here phase. Frank had quick cash, that's all. That's it? No, I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. The tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect.
Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. So are you going to party? Like I would miss it. I have to do this after. Hey Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. You're right. I don't. Making my guest list easier. Ciao. Hey, Cor Ciao. Really? Oh, let I'm not anti soiree You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Matt. Really? Oh. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. That's very sweet of her. Can't wait to doll you up. <laughs> Talk no soon. So insane. Seriously. Hello, climate change. Max, can we talk? Mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? You hit Chloe. I'm sure. one of my guns you're a combat veteran she's no threat to you if i didn't care about her i wouldn't care at all when i was her age i was out raising a lot more hell it's our so is kate marsh but you treat kate pretty bad you step between us at a pretty bad time 
She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. Anyone anymore. That's all, Max. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist. I care about you, I'm here for you. What do you want from me? I care about you, Kate. Don't, don't do this. Kate, Stop. please don't go. Don't come near me. Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. Mr. Madsen already treats everybody here like they're under surveillance. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. Max, I have a meeting. Excuse me. I really hope this Bring me the brain, Igor. There's Mr. Wizard hard at work. Hey Warren. Are you thoughtful yet confused? Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go... potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird science. I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. I give up. Hey, Warren. I have to add either a... I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing.
She blinded me with science. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. How's your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. Thanks for stepping up. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. I know. I really hope you keep those cameras from taking over Blackwell. Max, with students like you, we sure will. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must like photography. I do, but I'm certainly no artist. I'm all about the science. You can't debate numbers. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Let's put chlorine in. Hey, Walter. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine, not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? <laughs> I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Eureka! She's got... Dr. Caulfield. Oh, you guys really broke the bounds of science. Max, you might be the next Heisenberg of Blackwell. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Apparently it's my nature. Yet Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help, anyway. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You are guess on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. in photos, but you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between... That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have... Proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? 
Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't... What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but... Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. To become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. Mama around you this week. Listen, should I? Excuse. Great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. It's hard to not like him because he just doesn't give a shit. Do you think is such a little shh i think she can hear us i can't believe the principal lets him stay in school what happened i feel so awkward after bagging on victoria yesterday better be quiet victoria we have a master snitch and liar here and paparazzi i want that photo whore or i get nasty too late oh burn max is so fearless when she has backup right can I sit at my table now? Don't get cocky. This isn't over. In fact, shit's just starting, Max. Assholes. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Oh. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class... Suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? Yes, now. Not feeling good. I'm Sounds worried like about her. video gone viral. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of Maybe photo it tips. a student? Or a friend? I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Busted. The judge. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, 
We can only blame ourselves for participating. What's your problem? Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must be studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen. Seated. Too late. Class is in The whole school is evacuating. It's Kate. I didn't think she was that messed up. Oh my God. No! I, I have to do something to help her. Uh, who is that up there? Not again. Not now. again and again. Yes. have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. 
You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help, like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. I care about you because I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. You sound so persuasive, Max. If only. Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. I saw that cute photo of you with your sisters in your room this morning. I can see how much your little sister loves you by her smile. That's Lynn. She's only 10. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. Here we go. Now we saved her life. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. I know today was di What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Does she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little Shh. Are you gonna take this troublemaker's word over your security officer? And he should take the word of somebody who harasses students? Max, 
I'm afraid this won't be solved here without proof and a thorough investigation. Now, if you have anything else to say. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Does she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're playing a liar. the field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them for it. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Does she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. I'm gonna blame Jefferson. Because he was the last person that Kate ever saw before she, you know, tried to jump. I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She told me Max was the only one who believed her, would take her calls and actually listen to her. She shouldn't have asked to be on video, macking with some dudes. You ass! She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is problematic. The publicity is rising, and perhaps you shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. I understand. There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. Maybe you should investigate other staff members. Max told me she knew things about Mr. Madsen. Let Max speak for herself. Everything we talked about here will be looked into. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in.
I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever! You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. But I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday and Madsen is a straight up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. All right, that's the end of the episode.
Good night, guys. This is sudden drops. I need help. Thanks for watching.